Are you thinking about selling your home and you're wondering, is it okay to put it on the market the way it is now in its current state and its current condition for buyers to see? Or do I need to do touch-ups and repairs before putting it on the market? Well, the answer is no, you don't have to do anything. Now, if you could, then you could probably make a decent amount of more money than otherwise. Stick around and I'll tell you why and how. Stay tuned. Welcome to Step Into The Valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about you. Are you thinking about selling your home and you're wondering can I put it on the market now for buyers to see in its current state and condition? Or do I need to do some repairs and touch-ups before putting it on the market? Well, the answer is no, you don't have to do anything. Now, if you could, then you can make more money. So let's talk about why you could make more money and how. Let's start with the buyer's ability. Now, the typical buyer today wants to buy a home that's move-in ready or turnkey, which means that as soon as they close and the home becomes theirs, they just want to move right in. <laughs> now, then you have the buyer that might not be able to afford to do those additional things because they have spent all their money on buying your house and all of their liquid assets or their liquid funds went into their down payment or moving or getting ready to move or cleaning up credit so they could buy your house. Now that's part of the buyer's ability. Now there's another aspect of it, and that is when they do close on the home, they might not be able to move in right away because they have to do carpet, they have to do paint or other things, which means then they're paying mortgage on their new home and they're paying mortgage or rent on their other home that they're coming from. And maybe they can't afford to pay for both places. So it's not in their ability. Now that's the typical buyer. Then you have buyer perspective, which the typical buyer, they can't sometimes see past what's in your home. So if the carpet has some stains or the paint on the walls scuffed, they might not be able to see past that and envision what it could look like. Now that, again, a typical buyer. There are some that can envision that. And the ones that can, most of the time, don't understand the actual cost of these things. So if they see a home that needs new carpet they, or paint, they could sometimes think that it's gonna cost two to three times more than it actually could cost. And when they put that in their brains and they calculate that, they're going to take that out of the amount they offer you for your home. Now there are some of the whys. It could make you more money if you're able to do repairs or touch-ups before putting your home on the market. Now the how. I know for most people it's not easy to move out and vacate a home to be able to take care of repairs and touch-ups, but there's a workaround for that. And for most people they might not have the liquid funds themselves or the cash ready to pay for these repairs or touch-ups, but you know what? There's a workaround for that too, if possible. If you're thinking of selling your home and these are questions that you have, give us a call. We'd love to help coach you and consult you through your options. Call us at the number below. And in the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because every Friday we put out a new video for you. make a decent amount more money at the end 